Hello everybody, Mackenzie Hagland here. I'm a motivational speaker and life coach. And as always, today we're gonna to focus on my favorite topic, and that's you, you changing your life. Let's say you decide you wanna have a home built. You're really excited, you finally have enough money, and you call up a builder. And his first question is, how many bedrooms do you want? And you say, well, we need at least one, but I haven't really thought about it. And he says, well, how much light do you want to let into your house? And you're like, well, windows are important, so we would like to have some windows. And he asks, what size do you want your kitchen to be? And you say, well, we cook every day, so a kitchen is important. And he says, well, what color do you want your house to be? And you think, well, green, green's a good color. I, I really like green. So the builder, he goes off and he builds you a home and you wait, months go by and the builder calls you up and he says, your house is, is ready and we'd love to show it to you. And you know, he pulls up in his truck and you start to climb into his truck and he says, what are you doing? And he, you say, well, aren't you gonna take me to my new home? I'm really excited to see it. And he says, well, that is your home the, on the trailer that I'm pulling with my truck. And the builder's really excited. He wants to show you this new micro home that he's built for you. And you're disappointed because you think, well, that's not what I wanted in a home. Yes. You would never decide to build a home without having a clear list of requirements that you have for that home. How many bedrooms, how light do you want it to be? How many floors should it be? What size do you want the lot to be? These are all really important questions. And what I wonder is why we allow ourselves to go through life without a list of requirements. What is it that's important to us? Where are we headed? What do we want? Most of us have no idea. So we end up going through life and getting what we don't expect. This list of requirements for our life is often known as core values. Now core values is a list of ideals that are important for you in your life. It's what you're going to use to build a foundation. If you don't have a list of core values, essentially what you're doing is allowing somebody else to build a home for you without a clear idea of what it is that you want and need. And I guarantee by doing this, you are not going to get the home of your dreams. Instead, you're going to get whatever it is that the builder feels important or whatever he thinks is interesting at that time. This month, we're focusing on spring cleaning your life. And the first step in doing that is deciding what your values are what's important to you. We can't even begin designing plans or building a foundation without knowing what it is that you want. If you're ready for positive change, what I need you to do right now is grab a pen and paper. What, you don't want positive change in your life? Come on, this is your life we're talking about. Do me a favor, grab a pen and a piece of paper. Let's get started. Creating your list of core values is a four-step process. We're gonna start with step number one here, and all we wanna do is create a list of your values. What are the things that are important to you? And there's a couple of ways to go about doing this. A lot of coaches use a technique called peak experience, and that's looking at a moment in your life or a time period in your life that really mattered to you or that really created change for you. You're gonna take a look at that peak experience and pull out what was important to you about that experience. So maybe it was about an adventure you had, or it could be about that you were spending time with your friends and your family. Maybe it was that you donated your time or shared your knowledge with somebody else. It can be any of these things, whatever it was that was important to you during that moment for your life. If that doesn't work for you, another great way to do this is to just Google online list of core values and you'll pull up all kinds of lists and you can just look through those lists and pull out the words that speak to you or that mean something to you and just write those down. Now that's personally what I did and here's the list that I came up with. So you can see all of these words mean something to me. Connection, compassion, determination, curiosity, serenity, generosity. All of these words spoke to me. So that's step number one, is just creating a list. Now, once you have this list put together, this, the next step, step number two, is gonna be paring this list down. So right now we have a fairly extensive list. The next thing I want you to do is get it down to maybe five or eight words that speak to you the most, that most define you and most encompass you. 
So I chose for my keywords, connection, empowerment is really important to me, freedom of choice, gratitude, individuality, curiosity, and simplicity. Those were the words that I decided would make up my core values. So take some time, you know, mark up your list, pick out the five day words that mean the most to you. All right, step number three is to rank these. Which one core value is most important to you? This can get even more difficult. Uh, here's what I chose for mine. So as you can see, simplicity is the most important core value to me. Connectedness is next, inspirational and empowering, freedom of choice, gratitude, and curiosity. So you can see this, this list encompasses who I am. If I look at this list, I really have a clear idea of who I am as a person and what my needs are. Now that you've ranked your values, it's time to go on to step number four. And in my opinion, step number four is the most important. A lot of us may have or share the same value words. What is different is that each of us defines those words differently. And it's important to know what each of those words means to us individually. So let's take a look at what I did for simplicity. So simplicity for me means that I'm living a drama-free life, that I value experiences over possessions, I'm debt-free, I have time for myself and for the people I care about, I'm free to travel, I can focus on a healthy body and a healthy mind, I don't overcommit to things, and that I have plenty of time to reflect. I'm an introvert and I need downtime in order to feel energized for the things that I'm doing in my life. Okay, so now that we have a list of core values, you're asking, why is this important? How am I gonna use it in my life? Let's take a minute to talk about that. So this is my list of core values. Let's say that I'm trying to decide on a career choice for myself. I can use this list of core values to decide if I'm making the right decision. One of my big core values is freedom of choice. Now, any career that's going to put me into a set schedule is not going to make me very happy. It's very important to me that I have the freedom to choose how I spend my time and what I spend my time doing. Uh, also, any job that doesn't let me use my curiosity. I love to learn and look for new ways of doing things. And if I'm in a job that is repetitive and doing the same thing over and over again, it's really going to take away from this and not fulfill this curiosity value of mine. So that's how we can go about using this list of core values. And over the next month, as we look at what it is in your life that you can get rid of and how you need to reorganize and where you're headed, we're gonna use this list of core values quite a bit because I think it's very important to know who you are if you're gonna create your ideal life. Again, I'm Mackenzie Hagland and I'm a life coach. It's really important to me that you create positive change in your life. If you create your list of values, I would love to see it in the comments below, or you can send me an email. My email address is also down below.